Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Recall Box 4.0 Final was released about four days ago and I didn't catch it. One of my viewers actually asked me if I've tried it out yet. So I went ahead and installed it. I will be making an install tutorial tomorrow. Very easy to do. If you're just starting out, I do recommend going with Recall Box and then switching over to RetroPie because there's so much more stuff built in. One question I get all the time, N64 on Recall Box seems to run better. That's what everybody says. And out of the box, yes, it does run better. And that's because the devs have set Nintendo 64 up at a very low resolution. If you took RetroPie and Recall Box side by side, set them at the exact same resolution, they're both going to perform the same because they use the same cores. Unfortunately, I cannot record N64 within Recall Box because the resolution is lower than my game capture allows me to capture. But there's a few changes here and a few really awesome changes, actually. So first up on their changelog, support for USB keys, new emulation station languages, retro achievements, which I'm going to be setting up tomorrow and show you guys how to use. Really cool. It goes online. If you do something special within a game, it'll give you an achievement for it. So let's say Mario 3, collect a thousand coins. You'll get an achievement and you can go online and check retro achievements. You'll have to create an account, but it's really cool to have that. New recall box theme, and it looks beautiful like always. They do a great job with these themes here. Power switch through the GPIO pins. You can either just use a switch or a board. And that's an awesome feature. I'm going to be going over that too because I really like to have a power switch on my Raspberry Pi. New shaders. I'm going to show you that right now in a second though. New automatic configuration for Scum VM, N64, and Moonlight. So I want to show you, we're going to press start here. We're going to go to game settings and shaders. We can turn scan lines on, retro look. I'm just going to leave scan lines here, back up, and let's go play some Sailor Moon within FBA. I'll set this to all my favorites. So I'm not sure how good it looks on the recording here for the scan lines. They are a bit big. Now, I didn't try these before I made this video. Me, myself, personally, I don't like scan lines unless they're really created by the screen you're using. Some have managed to get scan lines to look amazing, but this right here is a little much, and I'm pretty sure the recording's gonna pick that up. These are very thick scan lines, and it does not look good at all. We'll go to retro and just see how that looks. Lines are a little thick. And this is the retro look. We're going to get kind of the same effect here. I don't like it. Turn those off. And MAME works really good within here. So Recall Box and RetroPie use the same cores. They're going to run about the same. It's about the user interface and how easy it is to set up. I prefer RetroPie. I love it. There are a ton more settings to change, but you need to dive a little deep into it. Like I was saying, for the first time user, Recall Box is a great option. Uh, one of my favorite features with Recall Box is the ability to run your games from a USB stick. Without any setting up, all you need to do is plug in your USB stick, change your storage device here, so we have internal storage, any external or my USB 32 gigabyte 2.0 drive that I got for four bucks works perfectly. If you do this for the first time, it's gonna ask you to reboot when you exit. You'll have your BIOS folders and your ROMs folders on the USB stick after that. Plug it into your PC, throw your ROMs on it, and they stay on the USB stick. So I'll be running these games from the USB. Let's go and just try the Punisher here. These are some of my favorite games to test within MAME. Oh. And I did try uh, a few other MAME games like The Simpsons and stuff like that. Runs perfect. 
So if you have a small SD card, like even a eight gigabyte SD card, you can throw a recall box on there and just use a USB stick to store your ROMs, which is a definite plus for people who don't have access to larger cards. But yeah, this is really good performance here. Definitely at 60 FPS. There's no doubt about it. Some of the games that come pre-installed are Doom 1, the shareware, the shareware version, PR Boom, Donkey Kong Classic, and all of these came. So let's just go to Lawnmower. These are not going to be super great games, but they are preloaded and ready to play. So these aren't ROM hacks or anything like that. These are games made after the fact. Oh yeah, I heard about this game. You just mow the freaking lawn. So we got to try to get through here. Oh. That sucks. I mean, quirky little fun games. So that's it for now, guys. I just wanted to give you a quick look at Recall Box 4.0 Final. There's some great features built in. Keep an eye out because tomorrow morning I'm going to be posting a install tutorial. Very simple to do. I'll show you how to run your games from your USB stick. Later on, I really want to get into setting up a dedicated GPIO pin on and off switch or power switch for the Raspberry Pi using Recallbox. Like always, thanks for watching.